Alright, so the first thing you want to do is peel and chop your two carrots. I'm using like medium sized carrots here, so just to cut, adjust accordingly. Um, two carrots, like medium size, is enough of the sauce we're making. So yeah, I'm talking over but you can just turn off the sound and read the instructions on the screen if you want to, if you're making the recipe and you don't want the sound. Um, what we're going to do is put the chopped up carrots in a pan of water that's ready to bring to a boil, so it should be sort of pretty hot already. And then after the carrots we're going to take a small potato and chop that up into sort of the same size chunks as what the carrots are, so they all cook at the same time. And then we're going to stick these in the water too. So after the potato is all chopped up and in the water with the carrots, you're going to peel two garlic cloves but leave them whole and add this to the potatoes and carrots. When the garlic is in, you're going to get a handful of raw cashew nuts and add it to the cooking pot with everything else. And then you want a, um, a red onion, um, it looks like just a normal size red onion. Uh, chop that into chunks and throw that in the pot too. You can substitute a red onion for a small white onion. Uh, I've did red was just what I had in so I used red. Alright so next you want to take your cauliflower and start to prepare that. Um, what I do is um, I flip it upside down, I tear off the leaves and then I sort of um, cut out the core with a knife like what you're seeing doing on the video. Obviously you can cut up your cauliflower like however you want it, this is just how I do it. And make sure that when you're doing this just watch your fingers can can be a little bit scuppy. So this next bit is optional but the core of the cauliflower is edible so what I do is I cut it up into little chunks and then I've added it to the cooking pot too. You don't have to do this but I hate waste and it just adds a more creamy texture I think to the sauce. And cut the cauliflower florets into about this size. I found this is the size that works best with this recipe, but obviously you can adjust it to your need. I'm using a particularly large cauliflower here, so um, I've just used like two thirds of it. Um, you want probably like I'd say a medium sized cauliflower, don't get one that's too big otherwise um, you'll have too much cauliflower for your cheese sauce. This is optional too but I'm using um, some of my favourite vegan cheese, uh, just cutting some up into chunks and sticking it straight in the blender um, before I add all the rest of the ingredients. So put it in the blender um, but don't blend it up yet. You don't have to do this, I just had some on hand and needed to use it so I added it in too. So yeah, if you are using the cheese, uh, stick it in the blender just before you put everything else in. And drain all your veggies and stick that in the blender on top of the cheese. And you want to add to that um, salt, pepper, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, teaspoon of tapioca flour, about a cup of the water from the veggies and any other herbs you want. And you can add salt and pepper after blending. This is the consistency you want. And put the uh, chopped cauliflower into a pan of simmering water. And you want it to be sort of just cooked and perhaps a little bit al dente. You just don't want it to be mushy when it's all finished. And then when that's done, uh, drain it and stick it into the pan you're going to be using for the cauliflower and cheese. And then you can pour over your cheese sauce straight from the blender on top of the cauliflower. 
mix everything together until all the cauliflower is coated and everything is sort of um, evenly spread out on the pan. And then you can uh, sprinkle some paprika uh, on top of this mixture too. I have done, um, you don't have to, but I think it gives it sort of a nicer taste. And then when you're ready, put it in a preheated oven until it turns um, sort of golden brown like you'll see there. And yeah, I did forget I was filming and had a little bit of a nibble and it was delicious. So if you do make this recipe then let me know and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. Thank you!